So I've got a Renogy 100 watt solar panel. It's the uh, polycrystalline one, just because it's cheaper. Going down to a little box out here that has a solar charge controller. This is the All Powers one. It's on. The, it's like the number one <clears throat> controller on Amazon. So I just went with that. I've got positive, negative going to positive, negative there on the controller. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty overcast. Well, mostly overcast right now. Not mostly, but I guess it's uh. 5:27 p.m. so there's not gonna be much sun out for much further but um, <clears throat> it looks like the battery is at 3.6 volts um, let's go through the different settings 3.7 2.6 kind of just learning this stuff on the go but um, those are my settings right there and of course we have <clears throat> um, this controller connected to a battery so this is in my little kind of storage bin right here not very weatherproof per se but I've got the Mighty Max um, ML 3512 uh, 35 amps just have that connected to using the uh, bolt and nut that was provided. So I don't have any um, disconnect boxes here or really inline fuses, which I probably should. But um, I'm going to try connecting this to a water pump for the first time, and we'll see how that goes. I might need to. Put the camera down for a bit. I've got a <coughs> um, Best Tech 300 watt power inverter. Of course, we have to use an inverter to go from DC to AC. Um, now, I believe the last I read, the pump only uses you know, like 20, 20 something watts. So. And we have a pretty full battery, according to this. Anyway, so we'll see how this goes. To the red to red, of course. And then let's try black to black. And uh, here's the inverter now. So, oops. a little crazy with one hand. So do that here. Hopefully you won't that that won't slip up. So we've got the ver connected. It's got from clamps to a female 12 volt and then verter has 12 volt male. So let's just see. I guess let's just try connecting this and then so this is connected now we just have to power this on and see if this doesn't explode in our face I do hear something so let's follow this oops I guess my is no longer submerged. So put that over here. <sighs> Loosen this up a bit. Nothing yet. Maybe this needs more water. This is on. I see the LED light going.
I don't know if there's maybe a kink in this or it definitely feels like it's going. It's not pushing the power. Oh, let's see. Oh, that was a problem. Let's see, maybe I need to put my camera down for a second. So I figured out what was going on. It was just a little kink in the cord. The tube, I guess. But everything's flowing. Um, it would be, I guess, a little stronger, but we've got kind of a bend right there. When it rests on it, it kind of slows down a bit, but we can work that out later on. So that's pretty much it for my little solar fountain setup. Um, we'll see how it goes. I know the voltage is dropping a bit. But, um, I don't know, I, maybe I have the battery setting wrong, or it's just maybe because it's not bright out right now. Um, the inverter itself is very quiet. It does have a fan. Probably picking that up on the camcorder. But it's pretty quiet. Let's see how this thing's getting warm. It's not warm. I don't know if I can store it inside that storage bin. I probably need some ventilation, but you know, for this initial these initial tests, I'll just run it out and open. So we'll see. Put links to everything on Amazon. Um, in case anybody's interested. Thanks for watching.